Hello and welcome to this Flame Guitars video. My name is David Kennett and you're with me today in my South London workshop. And today I'm going to be showing you how I refret a late 60s Fender Jaguar. Just a couple of things before we get going on the video. First of all, it's worth pointing out that in the 60s when this guitar was made, Fender installed their frets by driving them sideways into the fret slots rather than inserting them from, from the top. This particular guitar has a rosewood fingerboard uh, and so that causes a certain amount of problem when it comes to extracting the frets. Because the frets were driven in sideways, when you then want to extract the frets by pulling them upwards, there is more of a tendency with this type of fretboard for the, the fretboard just to chip around the, the fret slots as you're extracting the frets. So you need to be aware of that and then extract the frets in a more cautious way than you would do with frets that are installed from the top in, in the conventional manner that, that the frets are installed now. So the fret extraction is, is a much slower, more cautious process when working with old vintage Fender guitars. Uh, the other thing that you'll notice as we go through the video, and I'll probably sort of say more about this at the end of the video, is there's, being a 50 year old guitar, there, there's a lot of wear and indentations in the fretboard as, as you'd expect. And so one of the things I'm just going to work through as I go through the installation process is just how much I uh, keep the character of the guitar and how much work I have to have to do to sort of properly prep the, the fretboard um, to make sure that the frets sit properly. But I'll talk about that, that more and I think that'll become more apparent to me as, as I, I work through the, the refret process. So here we go, enjoy this video.
So there we are. Here's the finished guitar. Nicely refretted, strings on, and it plays very nicely. And I'm very happy with how this, this refret has gone. There are a couple of considerations al along the way that I had to sort of uh, think through. Uh, firstly, this is, uh, as you might have noticed from the, the video, there's a lot of wear marks, a lot of indentations up and down the fretboard, as you'd expect from a guitar that, that's 50 years old. So I wanted to maintain as much of that look as possible because I think in, in, if I was to over prep the fretboard uh, then actually a pristine fretboard against the rest of the guitar I think would have just, just look, looked all wrong. But equally I needed to properly prep the fretboard so the frets seated well once they were installed and therefore the guitar would, would play as, as well as it can. So that was the, the line I was sort of trying to sort of judge and, and, and balance. I think I've got, I've got that, that about right. The guitar plays very nicely. It certainly plays a lot better than when, when it came, came to me. The new frets have given new life into this guitar. Uh, and hopefully the owner of this guitar is going to be pleased with uh, the work I've done and how this guitar now plays. So hopefully you found this video useful and enjoyable if you have then please like subscribe to my channel for more about the custom guitars i make and also the, the servicing and repair work that i do but thank you for watching this flame guitars video